Hello everyone, my name is Brugly, and today I will be explaining a very, very nostalgic level, and a liminal one at that. One that you've seen pictures and videos from, but you didn't know it was from this backroom's level. One that makes you feel like a kid again, and it gives off the vibe of a summer day in 2013. The level is level 231, and it's fantastic. And if you like levels that are liminal, leave a like for this video, and without any more yapping, let me get into the explanation. Level 231 of the backrooms is classified as a class zero, and it's safe and secure with absolutely no entities to speak of. The level's layout takes the appearance of a very extensive house. The house seemingly has infinite floors, each of them having a different design and layout, but all of them being very empty and liminal feeling. The house is not horizontally infinite, instead it is infinite up and down, meaning you can go upstairs or downstairs an infinite amount of times and explore each different level or floor independently. It's been noted that most of the house's floors look like they're from the 1970s to the late 1990s. This is because the walls and the other surfaces here seem faded. Inside these rooms and hallways and corridors, there is no dirt, no mold, or any signs of rot or decay in the entire level. And there's no humbuzz from the lights here either. Each level of the house can take the appearance of any specific part of an actual house. Like one floor could be a basement, the next one could be a living room, the next one could be a kitchen, and so on and so forth. Each of these different areas seems so nostalgic and it has the ability to just fill your brain with calmness and melancholy. The floors themselves are not very large and they typically are only made out of a few rooms and maybe a hallway or two, but all of them just smell like your childhood home. Even though they don't look like it, you can just get that smell, that aroma. The faint smell of brownies baking in the oven. You can hear the soft chirp of birds from outside the windows here. It just feels like a warm summer day from your childhood. Speaking of the windows, on this level, there are several of them that look out to fields of warm grass and rolling hills. Calm little valleys and expansive grassy plains. Some of the windows also look out to clouds, almost like you're in the sky or some of them could look out to other neighborhoods or other nostalgic places. The windows on several of these different levels are already open, blowing in a warm air or a cool breeze, depending on where you're at. Oftentimes, when you look out of these windows, you'll notice that it's either sunset or sunrise, and you'll notice that the light outside is always like a pinkish, reddish glow. Moving on back to the interior of these levels, the kitchen areas look like they're from the late 90s or 2000s when you're inside of them. Inside of these kitchens, you'll be able to find food and water and snacks and other miscellaneous things. You might even run across some canned food in the pantry or on a rare occasion, freshly baked or cooking food that's been inside the ovens on this level. Now, who started cooking this stuff or who put it in there or who turned the oven on is unknown, but it's still not thought to be an entity because none have ever been seen here. Perhaps the level itself is to blame. As you move up or down the stairs here, you'll experience places with different phenomena and features. Some of these areas have different gravities, some of them are hotter or colder, and all of them just look different. There's bedrooms, there's dens, there's living areas, there's hallways and lobbies and bathrooms, and anything along those lines can be accessed eventually by going up or down for an infinite amount of time. Living rooms on this level often feel calm and very cozy. These places have large empty couches or futons or a rocking chair or two, and they might be darker or dimmer with less light than the other places. Other living rooms have windows that are open looking out to the outside. As I stated earlier, one of the more anomalous effects of this level is that these windows can literally look out to actual places. Like you can open the window and go out to these different areas. The areas are not infinite as far as we know, and eventually you'll have to come back to that window that you open and crawl back in to travel in the level, but it's just a pretty cool place where you can explore. It's unknown how this happens, or who created it or why it's like this, but 
it does happen and i think it's pretty cool as you progress higher up the staircase you'll notice more better preserved rooms no signs of other wanderers and more well-maintained carpets and walls and it's generally thought that going up the stairs on this level will lead you to more pristine rooms and going down will lead you to more old and faded rooms all of the rooms are clean it's just that some of them are newer or older than the other ones the bedrooms on this level will possess sheets and pillows and will smell like your childhood room. The air feels thick and dreamy and it's kind of transfixing to even walk around. You'll feel extremely, extremely at home inside of these bedrooms, even though it's not your actual bedroom. The same can be said for bathrooms and dens and other areas. They all invoke the sense of nostalgia and longing, but instead of there being any sadness or wanting to go back in the past, all of this nostalgia is good nostalgia. It just calms you down. Inside various rooms, you might find a TV, and the TV inside these different levels are often playing random sports games from real life, and these games are often very old games from the 90s. The quality of the TVs is always old and grainy, even if the TV is a thin new TV. It'll still be old and grainy. Again, how it's doing this, where the broadcast is coming from, well, we don't know. This level is so unimaginably big, and as I've said this whole video, you explore it by going up and down the staircase. The thing is, the stairs are not always in the same spot. Sometimes you might have to search around the specific floor that you're on, you know, behind doors, under couches, up in the ceiling, or underneath other staircases to find the other stair to lead you up or down. This could cause some confusion when traveling back up or back down, considering the stairs are never in the same spot, and they're not just linear straight down. The style and the design of the staircase will oftentimes even give away what type of level or floor that you're about to walk up or down to. If the stairs are tan and carpeted, then you're probably about to walk into a basement or a living room or a bedroom. If they're wooden or tiled, you might be about to walk into a kitchen. If they're soft and thick, it could be another bedroom and so on and so forth. And this level is really easy to get lost in because of those effects that I just talked about and how hard it might be to find the next staircase or ladder to lead you to the next level or floor. But since it is a safe place, there's nothing bad that can come from just getting lost for a little bit. You might even say it's good to get lost here since there's nothing bad that can happen to you why not take a trip down memory lane you know absorbing all the nostalgia and all the melancholy the whole way through this level is said to give wanderers an ultimate sense of peace more so than any other level it makes them feel safe and secure since the areas are small and it's nostalgic looking and the air itself feels familiar to most exploring this level is like taking a physical trip through your childhood memories, exploring each emotion, recalling exact memories and snapshots from the best parts of your childhood. It feels like you're a kid again, and you're about to go outside and play in the early summer. Nothing can hurt you here. You're finally safe. To enter this level, it's actually harder than you might think. See, because you have to be on level zero and walk around until you find a hole in the ground. I'm not talking about those rooms in level zero with the grid shaped holes. I'm talking about actual random single holes that look like they've been smashed out of the ground. When you find one, you have to jump into that hole, not knowing what's at the bottom. Once you do that, you'll wake up here on a random level of this house complex with the choice to go up or to go down. In order to escape this level, you need to go up or down until you find a living room that shares a bunch of characteristics with level zero. It needs to be yellow with smelly, grimy carpet, buzzing lights, and of course the famous wallpaper. Once you find that, you can walk out the front door of that living room and you'll be back to level zero. Alternatively, you can actually find a room with a bunch of windows in it, open one of them, and jump out, and you'll jump out into level 188. But yeah, that was level 231, a level full of the smell of childhood, the innocence, the uncanniness, the melancholy, the liminality, all wrapped up into one infinite complex for you to explore up or down. I hope you enjoyed this little nostalgic trip. I know I did.
Thank you for watching to the end of the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. This level is absolutely goaded. Might be my favorite one as of this post. Love the idea of just traveling around and I love going up or down to explore different areas from your childhood. And I love that vibe of just looking outside to those summer days and summer mornings and just enjoying these calm, safe, liminal spaces. One of my favorite things about the back rooms is when levels do this. I mean, this right here should be what every level strives to be. Anyways, I'll quit yapping for now. Check below for my Twitter, Instagram, all that. Comment what I should do next. Thank you so much for all you do, and I'll see you later. Peace.